AI is hot, but the next wave will be even hotter. Today, we're discussing five computer vision stocks with a clear path to growth. We'll be discussing Umbrella, Siva, Cognex, Lightpath, and Hymax. Let's get into it. Chris, Thomas, welcome back. So we keep saying time and time again that AI is hot. Simply put, um, today's craze is just the tip of the iceberg. And hey, while I have everyone's attention really quick, I'm sincerely not trying to be salesy here, but Mark B All Access is only $89 for the whole year right now. That's the lowest we've ever offered it. So click the link down below. Help us help you navigate the market. All right, guys, so let's jump into it. We've seen the large language models, generative AI, image producing algorithm, algorithms, they're all great. Um, but now we're looking at the next phase of AI, which will be industrialization, part of which will be facilitated by computer vision stocks. So Thomas, what does that mean exactly? Can you give us some context around that? Yeah, well, you know, computer vision is making computers see. This is more than just cameras that take pictures. This is the semiconductors and software that recognize light and motion and movement, but can capture images in real time and in 3D and in ways that allow them to recognize objects and make determinations. This is a lot bigger deal than it sounds. Generative AI is hot and it, NVIDIA with the cloud, but computer vision will be bigger. This is AI at the edge of computing where people can use it in real time, not in the cloud, and it will revolutionize everything over time. Think about this, this is a little bit out there, but R2D2, everybody knows R2D2. He's just a fancy chatbot if he can't see anything. Computer vision allows it to move around and be autonomous and to make have the information to make decisions and be part of the team. That's what computer vision is going to do for the internet, for the IoT, for technology and for society. Chris, what are your initial thoughts on computer vision? Well, you know, we've been talking a lot, spending a lot of time over the last few weeks talking about monetizing AI as the next stage. And this is one way that's going to happen. That's why this is a good sector to watch. I'm happy to let Thomas take the lead here. As you mentioned, he wrote a great article this week. The number of views that we're getting on the article suggest that this is a sector our subscribers like as well. So let's go. Yes, Thomas, let's talk about your article you wrote for Market Beat. Something caught my attention. It always does. Um, you had said there isn't a question of whether these stocks have a catalyst, but it's more so asking when the market um, for computer vision stocks will boom. So you said you think it could happen soon, right? So who's the leader here? Right. So the leader right now in computer vision really is Amberella. Amberella came to the spotlight many years ago, uh, riding the, the coattails of GoPro. Their chips are awesome for cameras. They were uh, really dedicated to um, to imagery, but they've shifted from imaging to edge computing and AI and computer vision. Um, so it's really like a dual or a triple play on advancing the technology, the mass market embedding of AI into consumer products and the IoT. The IoT will be a tremendous source of demand for CV products and appliances because all those connected devices are going to need to be able to see to some degree. Now, Amberella's Q2 results were mixed and the guidance was weak, but normalization within the market is at hand and growth is expected to return next year. Amberella already has an entrenched business with industrial and automotive end markets, which is the long-term play. Um, right now, the stock is down on those results, but analysts and institutions are buying the dip, and it seems like the bottom is in. Chris, what are you looking at with Amberella? You know, I was looking at uh, some interesting data on the company, and it recently so as Thomas was talking about it, how it's changing and redesigning its cameras, it recently replaced some of its traditional cameras with AI enabled cameras. And those are already being used by over like a hundred of its customers. And so I think that just goes to illustrate how quickly this sector is going to take off because of AI. It's just, it's giving these companies like Amberella a reason to go back to their customer base and say, here's something that we're offering that has AI that these customers right now are showing a willingness to pay for. Great insights on Amberella. So what's the next one here on your list? Siva, it's another computer vision AI focused company. What do we need to know here, Thomas? Yeah, well, Siva develops and licenses uh semiconductor and related technologies. One of the areas that it focuses on is AI um, and computer vision. Um, 
the products that it supplies are architecture frameworks for other companies to build up their own AI networks. And so that's the, the play with this stock. Um, it's trying to monetize the development of AI more so than AI itself. Chris, do you have anything else to add for this stock? Yeah, I mean, the company license basically licenses intellectual property in a cyclical market like semiconductors. It's going to grow the most at the beginning of a cycle. And since we could be entering the beginning of one now, SIVA would be one to watch. Well, let's take a closer look at Cognix. Uh, Thomas, recent results have been weak. So why is this one on your list? I mean, I trust you. I usually do. Um, right. But I'm looking forward to your explanation here. Right. So Cognex is a manufacturer of computer vision sensing devices. It's already got established uh, business with things like barcode scanners. So uh, it's just a matter of developing and advancing the technology. Uh, they're already embedding AI into some of their frameworks. Um, right. And so like some, some weakness this year, but business has normalized above 2019 levels. I see this one uh, gaining momentum over the next year as more and more companies lean into AI and AI applications. Chris, what are your thoughts on like the stock versus the company here? I know you always have great insights yeah. on that comparison. See, 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 Lacey, this is where you're leaning into the caution. See, that's why I'm <laughs> cautious and you're leaning into that. I like yes. that. See, this is right. one where I like the company right now a little bit more than I like the stock. The company's revenues and earnings are down year over year for the last several quarters. I'd like to see that turn around before I get too excited. But yes, this is one that you're going to be watching in this space. So then there's Lightpath, a penny stock, Thomas. Um, revenue doesn't seem to stick out to me here. So what makes this one worth a look? Yeah, Lightpath is certainly one of the riskier plays in this group. It is a penny stock. And like all of them, none of them are really blue chip tech plays. They are working on uh, the cutting edge of technology. Uh, but Lightpath makes optical components and lenses. So once the technology is advanced, it will be one of the companies that is embedding it into, into products that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's not a big company now. It is kind of a swing for the fences play, but it is a growth opportunity once computer vision begins to advance and gain traction. Chris, what are your thoughts on the risk here? You know, Thomas said, life path's risky. That's sure. I mean, just because it's a penny stock doesn't mean you shouldn't invest in it, but it does mean that there's certain more risk involved than there would be if it wasn't. I really like some of the sectors that the company is involved in. It's involved in the defense sector. It's involved in healthcare. And those are going to be very sticky sectors in terms of demand. So I like that. And if computer vision is going to have the, the kind of explosive growth that we think it will, those are the sectors that investors would be wanting to look at for where that growth will be. Last one on your list here, Thomas, is Hymax Technologies. This one has a dividend, so of course I'm interested in learning more. Um, what can you share about this high yield opportunity? Yeah, and this is a semiconductor company with an established business, so it's a bit of a safer play on CV than, than, than some of these other stocks. Its products include uh, display and CV processors, and they're included in things like smart doorbells, people counters, and other automated counting devices. Um, as for the dividend, it can be a high yield, but it's erratic. Uh, mm -hmm. They pay out once a year, and the board decides each year how much of earnings to pay based on the economic outlook. This year, uh, the payout ratio was a bit lower than usual, but it's still a high, uh, a, a mid to high single digit uh, distribution. Chris, do you have anything to add on this company? You know, as as we were just sitting here, I was just thinking. I mean, this is sort of like your your. Um, your alternative to light path, it's almost like the exact opposite. This is one where, again, growth slowing, but like Thomas said, this isn't a new company. Mm -hmm. It's a trade off for investors. You know, you're going to, um, if you want the chance for market beating growth, you might have to go to a penny stock. If you're going to have the risk that comes with, you know, if you're looking for a safer option, Hymax may do that for you, but it might not, again, have that same growth potential. All right, well, there you have it. We took a look at the leading players in computer vision. Um, like I mentioned, Market Beat All Access is only $89 for the whole year right now. So click the link below, check it out. Uh, you gain access to our best tools and market insights. We've never sold it this low. I'm telling you, you have to get in on this. Um, thank you so much, Chris and Thomas, for shedding light on this next phase of AI. Please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel if this was valuable to you. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you want us to cover next. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon.